Hey guys, Asian boy here. So I'm just gonna do a video of me unboxing the PMG Soviet gas mask. And um, I'm actually quite excited because this came in literally a day after I opened up my ANP M51 gas mask. So this is gonna be nice. Um, so I'm just gonna open up this package to start off with. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> So it comes in the satchel. Anything in the bag? Nope, nothing. So here's the bag it comes in with. Size 3, okay. Thing. Thank you, Soviet man, Russian man. This is interesting, I've never seen this before. It comes in a interesting satchel. Where's the straps though? It's, oh, it's in here, okay. So let's take off the straps, boom, boom. Unbox it. Oh, ooh, some dust is coming out. How dusty will this mask be? Um, pretty damn filthy, I'll tell you that. Wow, that is, that is dirty. Ah, someone didn't wash it before they sent it. They just sent it how it is. It's in the inside out. I'm actually curious. Real quick about how the um, dust will look like from the inside. You guys may not see it. That is that that is dirty. I'm I'm I will not put that on my face. Not yet, at least. Uh, it just needs to be rinsed out a little bit. And it has this weird hand carrying bag. <laughs> here's the Soviet gas mask. One with a voice diaphragm looks like. Oh yeah, here's the stamps by the way. Yeah, let me uh, turn on my flash. Can you guys see that? There you go. Size three. Oh, that's too blurry. Come on, focus. There you go. Size 3, 2739, I think that says. C79. Nice. Very cool. So, here's the exhale valve, I believe this is what it is. Oh, is that the inhale valve? This is the inhale valve. What's the exhale valve? It, this can't be the exhale, is it? Or is this the, it looks like a voice diaphragm to me. Ooh, can I, can, am I even able to unscrew it? Oh, there you go. That's a voice diaphragm. That is 100% a voice diaphragm. Yeah, let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, here you go. It's a thin piece of plastic. It when it bounces, it amplifies your voice. So it has this. Um, so it makes you sound louder than you really are. And um, I don't see the XL valve. Is this? Is this like some fancy? Is it like an intake and outtake valve? That's interesting. Now let's see. Probably has both inhale and exhale. Just tighten that. Oh, that sounds rusty. <laughs> 50 bucks for this thing, huh? Alright, um. Here's the intake valve. Wait, oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> so, this is the exhale valve, for sure. This is the intake valve. I'm I'm dumb. I forgot these are the intake valves. I'm, I'm, I'm a goofy one, I know. But, uh. But it's a bit dusty. This needs to be rinsing it out. But it's a wow. That is dirty. Then if you look inside the screw, it's just all oh, dusty. Here, this is what's gonna happen, guys. I'm a off camera. I'm gonna give this a quick rinse. Hello, I am back. So just just in case, if you guys were wondering, as you can see, it's been washed a little bit. But this is what it looks like on the inside of the gas mask, right? I bet you guys weren't expecting that, huh? I never knew what it looks like from the inside of the gas mask simply because, well. People who own it don't only really show you the inside of the gas masks, but that's okay, because I'm here, and I'll show you the inside of the gas mask. And, um, yeah, as you can see, it's very wet, but I mostly, um, dried out the inside, because I'm gonna well, be putting it on my face, and I certainly would not want a wet gas mask on my face. If it's on the outside, it doesn't mind. I, I also did notice these stains are... Well, stains, they are, they, they won't go. The, the, the one with the mask now, so. And I noticed this gas mask comes with this odd strap that you can just hook on. I'm not sure how it works though. Oh, there you go, okay. That's how it works, like that. And I'm assuming you're supposed to have it tight, right? Yeah. So this is interesting, definitely interesting. Let me just adjust the strap real quick. Probably put it. Mm, there you go, now this, 
th that was pretty easy to strap on. And um, here's what the gas mask looks like again, if you guys were wondering. And now I'll be putting it on my face. Oh boy. But before I, I put it on my face, before I put it on my face, let's, <clears throat> let's look more on the inside. Okay, so this comes with the little stretchy rag with the weird looking bottom. That is unique. I've never seen this before. Now look at that. Will that focus? Oh, there you go. So, uh, this is... I don't know what this is. It's very unique, though. I've never seen something like this before. Oh. Nothing inside, though. Now, let's back in here. Oh! Would you look at that? <laughs> it's the asbestos gas mask that we all know and love. Ooh, that is... Now, that's dusty. I... I won't... I won't be messing with that. That that's dusty, dusty. Hmm. Let's see if I can shake anything out of this gas mask. Or out of this bag, I mean. Hmm. Appears to be nothing. Just a load of bunch of dust. I would recommend putting this in the washing machine before you do anything else with it. Um it comes with buttons on the side. There's there's the side pockets, right? Uh Okay, it's a sling. Okay, that's interesting. Nothing else? Okay. See, always looking through the bag is always interesting because you never know what you're going to find. Mm, a load of dust. Okay, cool. I w was actually not expecting a load of dust. That's new. Oh. Uh, so it comes with a little bag. Right? Nothing inside the bag, though. Asbestos filter, um, Soviet gas mask. I mean, gas mask. Soviet filter with asbestos in it, obviously. I don't know how broken down this is. You guys are probably wondering what it looks like when you uncover it. I'll just take it off, just for you guys. Because I know you guys are wondering what it looks like. I mean, we all know what the GP5 filter looks like. But you guys are probably wondering what the conditions of this one looks like. Alright, I'm not trying to rip this, because I do want to keep it in its bag. But I do want to show you guys at the same time. Oh, that's an interesting cover. Hmm. It has this very uh, wood-ish, um, looks like laminated wood, but it's a cap. That's unique. I've never seen that before. Ooh, I'm, oh, my camera's moving. My bad. <laughs> but here's the green filter. Oh, here's the stamps on it. Here, can you guys see that? Let's see if it'll focus. There you go. You can read that. There you go. So that's the filter with the interesting cap. And it looks actually fairly new. New as in not like broken down to tiny pieces. I see this light, like this hairy looking substance. I'm not going to assume that's asbestos. I hope to God it's not asbestos because I would I just expose myself to this, a minor amount of asbestos in my family's home. Let's just hope it's not the case. Let's unscrew this, because I know you guys are wondering what that looks like too. And that's the that's what it looks like on the inside. It's just this fibery P3 thing. Now, I don't know if that's the asbestos. I don't know how the filter works. It's under the cap. I don't know how the filters work or how they're contained. It could be charcoal here, asbestos here, and just fabric here. Or this could be the asbestos and the rest is charcoal and stuff. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. But I hope to God that's not asbestos. Now, I will be taking off the bottom cap. There you go. And as you see, it's just, well, it's just metal. All right, underneath you can kind of see there's more fabric. I believe that would be the asbestos will be located. This says 24 on it and some markings. It's pretty interesting. But this looks fairly non-broken down. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe I could use this and I'd be fine, you know? Because maybe the asbestos hasn't broken down yet. We don't know. But you can't, you, you never know until you, you know, break it open. But let's not have that be the case. Because I'd be bad. Now, I do find it kind of hard putting the cap or the bottom seal on. I am struggling a little bit as a press hard. <clears throat> there you go. Oh, that's kind of hard. Give me a second. 
All right, cool. It's back on. So now I will kindly put this back in its original seal. Now I will be putting this in a plastic bag and hiding it in my closet to never be touched. Um, I own more filters of this exact kind and I don't touch them. I just put it in a, in a plastic bag and I just never touch it. I don't really dispose it in a trash can because you could be exposing to people who... Because when you throw it in a trash can, all that stuff goes to the dump and it, sometimes it's crushed or burned. And when that thing breaks open, you're exposing everyone who works at the you know garbage place uh, to asbestos and we don't want that so let's not dispose of that like maybe recycling i don't know this i'm sure there's smart ways but i don't really dispose of it i just collect it you know because oh, whatever i guess don't can't be bothered so now we'll be putting up putting on this gas mask for you guys so now i will be putting on the gas mask for you guys here's the satchel um, sorry if I sound a little bit dead, uh, I'm not feeling as awake as usual, so I'll be putting on the gas mask now. And sorry for that little interruption. So, as it should be, it's very tight. Very tight and um, squished in my face. The thing is, the, the more you wear the gas mask, um, the most likely it will, uh, it will form and stretch out to more the size of your face. To fall, so I just gotta get used to it. If I work more, it will be more uh, fitting to my face. So this is what it looks like when I wear the PMG gas mask. Let me look in the mirror real quick, because I'm actually kind of curious. I just need to self a little bit. So I do kind of look like a, mo a monstrosity at the moment as we speak. Um, the, the the voice that I sound is kind of that way. I prefer it to be more straight, like this, but you can't always get what you ask for. And that is annoying me though, I'll give you that. So as I speak, I assume I'm a... You can understand me. I mean, that's the hope, of course, is that you understand me as I speak. Um, I can, I have a, an surprisingly an amazing view of what's around me. I can look over there, I can look over here, and then right in front of me. I can look up, I can look down. And I looking in front of me is actually, and surprisingly, really good. I can see surprisingly well what's in front of me. Oh, I forgot to put this thing on too. So that's not as tight as I would prefer. So I would have to tighten this. But as we speak, um, it has an amazing view. Surprisingly, I just looked at that way. But yeah, my view is actually surprisingly good. I sure if I had like. If I was doing airsofting or in a real battlefield and I was to look in front of me, I'd see just fine. It looks really well. Um, I look kind of goofy because of the little hair off the side. Kind of makes me look like a maniac a little bit. <laughs> uh, I, I, when, so when, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my, uh, I'm going to go get my AK. My airsoft AP, and I'll get a little adapter and a needle filter and see how that works for you guys. So, at this point, what you'll see me do is I will be putting on this adapter onto my needle P3 filter. And if you guys are wondering uh, why I got the adapter, I'll put it in the link in the description. But I would use it. With this, uh, I would I would be um, careful when using an adapter because it's not guaranteed to work. You never know if it's going to work for sure. That's the only downside when it comes to these adapters. 
because they can not sometimes they might not make any attack seal and you if you're using it in an emergency situation you have a good chance of being exposed to whoever you're trying to protect yourself from. But I was um, at the time of using this, I, I did have to be I was in a situation where it was either this or nothing. So I obviously chose this, right? And um, it worked for me. And I'll post a set and I think I'll put this if it if the video ugh, if the video is out, I'll put a link in the description. But if it's not out, then you'll eventually there'll be a link in the description for because I will post about it. Because I mean I talk about using this when I had to work with fiberglass. So So here's the filter and the gas mask. I will be putting on the gas mask first actually. And before I put it on, I should um well, that's kinda corroding away, huh? The, the these buckles are kind of corroding as we speak. But I will be um adjusting the strap now to hopefully fit me better. Alright, now I will be putting this on. So that on the gas mask. So that, so putting on, putting it on for the second, third time, it's a lot more, it came on a lot easier and a lot more comfortable. It feels a lot more comfortable now I, I, I was wearing it. And it's only been like what, 10 minutes, five minutes of me, three minutes maybe, of me just putting it on and off. So that works. Um, this still bothers me. I'd like this to be here. For some reason, it's right here. So what can we do? I'm gonna... Now I'll be trying to put on the strap. I may have made it too tight at this point. I may have. Let's see. Hmm. This is the first. I did make it too tight. I did make it too tight. Um... Okay, give me a second. I'll be messing around with the strap until I get this thing. So, at this point, I did make it. So, at this point, I do have the strap on. This piece is kind of flat. It is kind of annoying. I probably tape that together so it doesn't flap around so much. Um, and when I'm putting it on, this part now digs into my shin. And it hurts a lot, actually, so I, I don't know if I would want that on. That really does relieve the stress of having it on. Maybe I now put it, I have, I have it too tight, and that's too good. It's a situation, if you have the same problem, you can always adjust it, it's whatever. Um, inhaling and exhaling is kind of painful. Um, compared to the GP5, inhaling and exhaling is a little bit more difficult. But it is easier than the M51 AMP gas mask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the filter with the adapter. Okay. Okay, be putting it on now. I hope I'm putting it on right. It'd be kind of, kind of bad if I wasn't. Go. All right, that should be good. Oh, I don't want to make it too tight. And this is how it looks like with the filter now. Pretty radical. <laughs> um, it works. It does make an air tight seal. I could do a test on this video. I mean, if I get like 10, 15 likes on this video. I'll probably do a testing video of me gassing myself, and um, and uh, and you guys will get to see if it works with this adapter. That'll be an interesting video. I mean, I know it works, but it might look better with this gas mask because I don't know if you guys don't know, but the screw and the threading is actually rubber, so it makes it even a better airtight seal. Um, but who knows? Uh. With this on, it doesn't really slope, but this is a lightweight um, filter. I could have, if I were to have that one, that fat one, it would drag more and that'd be annoying. So, that's that. Uh, now, with a, uh, with an AK, this is a airsoft AK. Um, 
So, um, I forgot I'm left-handed. So, um, if you were to be left-handed just as me, you wouldn't really be able to aim because of the field set. You just kind of have to shoot from the side like that, which would be difficult. So, so now I'm going to go right-handed. That works just fine. I mean, I have to, I would, it t I have to tilt my head a little bit more. Usually, when I aim, it's more like this. But I kind of have to aim, kind of tilt my head a little bit like this if I want to aim. A little bit more than I prefer, but that's okay. I put, I mean, you probably just have to aim in the general direction. I mean, let's be honest. If you're like getting gassed. And you're, you're shooting for your life, you, you probably wouldn't be on aim down sights, you know, precisely shooting. You'd probably just be spraying, who knows? I'll, I wouldn't know, I'm not in the war. But, if that, I mean, it works, it's a little bit more uncomfortable. Actually, I think aiming with a GP5 might be a little bit better, to be honest with you. Maybe. Um, if I had to have binoculars, well, first of all, the lenses sit so close to my eyes, I'd be fine aiming well with binoculars. With the gun, I wouldn't say the same, to be honest with you. So now what's going to happen is, I'm going to be putting on my helmet, my Soviet helmet, and we'll see how that looks with this helmet. So what's going to be happening now is I'll be putting, putting on this uh, gas, gas mask. So now I'm wearing the gas mask. Um, for the hell of it, I'll be on the strap too, even though I kind of hate it. Um, I know if you guys watch Weapons and Stuff 92, for his gas mask when he talks, it kind of has a click 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 sound when he breathes and stuff. I don't really have that problem. I do not have it really clicking. I mean, when I talk, it kind of clicks for a little bit, but. Not as dramatic as his is. So now I'll be putting on my helmet. Okay. So now that I have my helmet on, uh, hold on, give me a second. Yeah, so now that I have my helmet on, uh, that's a little bit loose, but that's okay. Um, it looks, it's very compatible. It actually sits perfect because of the eyebrow ridge. Makes it sit perfectly on my head. So that's actually, that's actually really cool. And now, um, with the gun, it works just fine. I, well, I can't aim, of course. That looks just great. I mean, that's pretty, I mean, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I feel cool. This is pretty radical. <laughs> uh, why am I saying radical? That's a that's new word. Epic? Cool, I guess? Um, I I do enjoy this stuff. This is uh, a nice gas mask. I'll give, it, I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Breathing, comfortability, everything about it is pretty damn nice. I'd say it's better than the A&P M51. The only thing about this, about any Soviet gas mask, well, first of all, I think the Soviet gas masks are all better than the the um the NATO gas mask. So that's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but then again, I only own one NATO gas mask, so how? <clears throat> who am I the one to be judging? The thing is, though, let me take off the gas mask so I can talk to you guys more clearly. But the thing is, though. But from judging the M51 gas mask, it is definitely not as comfortable as the Soviet gas mask. But, but it's a lot more practical due to the fact that it can take um, NATO filters. That's one big plus. So I don't need to trust this 3D printed cheapo uh, um, adapter. I could rely on the uh on the, just the filter itself while the well this one i have to trust the adapter it's less practical I, i'd say when it comes to 
availability when it comes to the filter because if you don't if you can't use the filter then it's a useless gas mask right off the bat okay that's just how it is sometimes but <clears throat> but i don't know i don't have any much to say if you guys want me to do like a re like a testing video on these gas masks you can um always comment below and like it and such Ooh, ew wow okay that's interesting um so i'm using the screw <clears throat> it uh took off a lot of crust from the intake filter. Oh no, in filter intake valve. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's that's nasty. That's that's really nasty to be honest with you. But whatever, I guess. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my unboxing and uh, me talking about the Soviet gas mask, the PMG. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Peace. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Hands <laughs> up, hands up, come here, come here.